Alright, hey guys, welcome to another playthrough. This time it is going to be a game called The Gardens Between. Now, The Gardens Between what? I don't know, that's where we're going to play it, so let's find out. Uh, so I've played it for like a tiny, tiny little bit. Like two minutes, maybe two or five minutes at a push. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird and kind of... It looks like there's more to go into, so without any further ado, let's go into it. So this is the Gardens Between. So yeah, there you go, some sort of weird uh, time manipulation thing, which we've actually ended up playing a lot of. That, that seems to be like a generally uh, common gaming mechanic. Uh, Life is Strange, Quantum Break, this, uh, other stuff I'm sure, but I just can't think of right now. So we aren't even controlling them, but it's literally like, like playing a video, like moving the uh, the thumbstick. So okay. So if it's like this the whole way through, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that or not. So if we keep holding it to the left, it's okay. So we've built up a... Weird bridge or something. And now we have a light, for some reason. Arena's room. Lounge room. Okay, so now they're next to the orb thing. Okay, taking a time. Okay, so it's like a lantern, okay. And then we have to take this to the top, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing she's Arena. She has an A on the back of her, like... I'm not even sure what you'd call it. Waistcoat. Okay, and they both put the lantern in. Okay, I was holding back to see if anything would happen there, but it didn't, so... Okay. So can we go back and pick it up now? Oh, okay. So now we have like a, a lantern shell. Something, hey. And we can ring this one as well, I'm assuming. Can you? No? Can only the guy do it? Oh, okay. Okay, so you can change the colour of the flowers. Does that matter? Ok, 
Okay, you can open and close it. So, I'm just going to assume that we need to go back and pick up the ball again. And that, okay, I'm going to assume that when that flower's purple and has like a black hole at the top, that's going to suck the light out of our lantern. So if we ignore that, and clearly the goal is to get the light to the top, then press A, and then they'll shove the lit lantern into the top. Okay, so it creates like a tableau or something. Can I move this as well? So, okay, yeah, I can play this forwards and backwards too. What happens if we hold it back? Then it does this. So is it a constellation or something? And a speedboat shed. Press A. Okay. What? I have no idea what's going on. So at this point, I don't even need to tell you that this is another one of the Game Pass games. That's like it's like a gig big, so obviously it's not very long. Uh, so I thought I'd just like check it out. Uh, okay, and it's like a creepy. Wait, what is that? It looks like a present with legs to me, but I don't know. Is in the lunchbox. And it hops out the lunchbox. We can dispatch our. Th oh, okay, so if we go backwards, then that'll collect the light. Yep, yeah, there you go. Okay. And then hold it forward again. And then we can pick it back up. And then we can do the bridge. So it's kind of like a super simple puzzle game, I guess. The water thing is kind of cool. So then this time I guess we can just hold it back and then we can... Oh, okay, I can't pick up the light again. Uh... Oh, okay, maybe we may go forward and then ring the bell. And then that'll open... ...something. Maybe, we'll see. And I think only the guy can... ...ring the bell. Here he is. What's that? Okay. And there you go. Oh, it's like a plant pot, and then it. Okay. Very peculiar. And. Dunch! Maybe there's like a bigger overarching story, that's what I'm gonna go with. So there's like a lunchbox, and it's a part of this tableau which consists of two parts, so we need to find the other part which I'm guessing is going to be on this uh, island. It's already getting quite intricate, like there's a lot of uh, 
detail. Okay, so look, we don't want... Because that black hole is going to come and steal it. Oh, it's like, it's like trying to suck it. So maybe we have to go ahead. Okay, so it's taking it. And then we can rewind. Maybe. So there it goes. And then that way we have the light on the other side. Yep, yeah, okay, that worked, good. It's basically a trial and error, it looks like. Okay. And then... Put it in that, and then we can hopefully meet him up there. Take it back, maybe? That might be dangerous. And I'm assuming give it to him. Yep. And then hop over, and then there you go. So it should be Tableau 2, if the first one's any indication, okay? So, a paddling pool and a launch box. Which one put together makes the paddle box? Well, it's not a launch... Oh no, it is like, a, it's like some sort of hamper. So there's all of this guy and girl hanging out. So I wonder if there's going to be like some sort of like twist and there's going to be like some sort of horrific things happened in their past and then they got brought together. Or whether it's just going to be one of those hey, play this when you're like stoned or something and maybe you'll like it. Okay, what, what's that? Is that like a window? That's kind of interesting. What, what's this thing? Or maybe it's just for the, the... I don't know if they're brother and sister. They don't really look like brother and sister, but... Okay, so that means that... We can affect just specific things then. When there's one of them weird things there. Uh, general consultation. Wait, was it? Because we could see it from out here, can we? Is it some sort of like tablets or something? Oh, the dominoes. pick it up and then go back and then ding it and then go back to here and then make the stuff go up so that we can get past it like there and then go forward and then ding it and then make our way up be kind of funny since it's called the gardens between if all of the tableaus are in gardens I'd actually like that a lot okay so clearly there's gonna be three different islands to make up this tableau so here's a new one with a game controller reminiscent of the NES 
Can we click to... We can. Oh, okay, I think you just click a set anyway. Right. Okay, and now we can think of that. And what does this one do? Oh, it turns the TV on. Is that any help? Alright, he rewinds it. What use is that? Exactly. Did I miss something further back? Let's have a look. Okay, now that's as far as we can go. Right. Oh, can we... Okay, I'm trying to work out what the fuck we even did. Ah. Okay, somehow that worked. So now we can climb up the tape. And pick that up. And then now we have a bridge. Is that going to be it? Oh, maybe we can... We're a chicken. Why are we black now? So let's put the chicken... Oh, move the chicken back and then that's the light. And then if we... Rewind it. Okay. So, it's gonna be one of them awkward fucking things where... You just bring up random shit for no reason. You have to work out why. Dunk in the stone hole. This time it's some crackers. Super silly crow, okay. So that it's playing. They were playing things on some day. I'm still not sure why we're meant to care. Okay, so off we go. Do we want to thing in this yet? Let's look like what we... Okay, so we can control this thing. So we'll probably want to, like, dispatch it and pick it back up again. Like that. Okay, so we can pass it. Ah, so we want it in like midair or something? How? Alright, let's see where it goes. Like there, and then go forward. Okay, good, that worked. And then go back, and then bring him back over here. Okay. I wonder if we have to like keep running all the way back to that. Um, I don't know what to call it, egg timer or whatever. Oh no, there's another one down here. Hopefully that does the same thing. But I guess we'll see when we get to it. Well, that's nice of them. I thought we'd have to like go back every time. Uh... Wait. We will have to go back every time, won't we? 
Because how's he meant to get it down there? So if the flowers, the flowers down there, and we can't go back. Unless we see what happens if we just keep going forward. So we might get another light to work with. Oh shit, we're going far on this one. I can't see another light yet. Okay, so we just go straight to the top. So... Where's this other light coming into it? Okay, so let's have a look what's under this blanket. There's a... So how do we stop the blanket from... Hmm... Okay, let's play with this, because I'm sure that'll come in to play for something. So let's... Thing it along. Doopy doopy doo. Doopy doopy doo. Oh, and then maybe that'll keep it up. We'll see, I guess. Nice. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh, I thought it crashed for a second, but apparently not. Great catch. And then. I'm guessing we go back. So if we move him back a bit, maybe it'll catch it. So like here? Then move it forward? No? Why can't you pick it up there? You'd think... You should be able to. Maybe, okay, move it back a bit then. Here. What? Why isn't it switching over? Okay, I'll move it forward like a tiny bit. Like here. Alright, what am I missing right now? No, because that didn't work either. Come on! Oh, I'm so dumb. It needs a lantern on it, doesn't it? For fuck's sake. I was thinking it could like keep it in the box, and then we could just move the lantern on it, but... Okay, so if you put it like here, and then go forward... Uh, and then can we just carry it on to the top? Oh god, we need to move the box forward. Try not to be so fucking dumb. Can he pick the box up? The lantern? Whatever? No, apparently not. So she'll wave to him. Oh, I guess we just move it back then. And put it back in the slot. Which we need to do by moving this fucking thing. I take back my chill statement thing. Now pick it up, and now move forward, please. Alright, come on, run. Oh, she still waves. I thought it would be cool if they added like an animation for when she didn't have the lantern, but she waves anyway, so whatever. Okay, they both get up, and then kadung, boop. Okay, and that's a third of three. So then we'll do another tableau. So it's like a, 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 a fort, like a den. 
where they play games, a gaming den. Why does the TV vote? So I wonder how many goddamn islands there are. So it looks like three more here. And now it looks like we're in like Wreck It Ralph land. Okay, so we can walk on clouds. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. So, there has to be a way to... How do we close it? So he needs to get over it. So maybe didn't even need one then. Oh fuck, bastard. Wait, wait, there's another one at the top, so let's just keep going. But now we can't cross, but now we can because... So it closed that. Why is that any good? Hmm. to be like a cloud bridge. So then we want the light taken away so that we can cross it. And then we can pick one up of this guy. Okay, so sometimes it's good to get your light lost. Well, that's going to be confusing. I really like that, um, like the soaring thing, which if you think about it actually makes no sense because if you're soaring and rewinding then it would just be soaring the same bit, but what do I know? Okay, so clearly we can open that. Oh, so we're gonna have to go to the top and then rewind it so that the light, maybe? Yeah, and then put it in. And then go all the way back so that he's 
to next to... Oh, maybe it's bad though, because... Wait, hang on, what's going on here? They can swap it between them. blue one, you have to work out which one to put it in. Well, so clearly it's the fucking other one. The light blue, whatever color. <sighs> What's further along here is what I want to see. Oh, yeah, because it needs a light in it. That makes sense. Alright, there you go. So uh, the other day I was watching um, like 30 creepiest moments in kids cartoons, which was kind of interesting. Uh, I, I literally can't remember what uh, number one was, but it had like Courage the Cowardly Dog and um, the You're Not Perfect thing, which is kind of creepy like if you've never seen it before. Uh, and there's one of like a mummy, uh, like I think it was Ramses the mummy, and for some reason they decided to do that in like 3D. It's when they use the 3D animation in like a 2D show, that's when it's like weird and uncanny. I think that's what makes it creepy, because basically every example of it was like that. Uh, in terms of what else was on there, there was like a Scooby-Doo one, but I haven't got to it yet. Uh, so I didn't want to spoil it. He was like, okay, cool. I think it's like episode 39 of Mystery Incorporated, which would be... Oh, look at this. There's going to be like so many fucking things to keep track of. It's going to be impossible. When, when do any of these even get near a light, though? Unless there's another one. Is that, a, is that a different one or what? Oh, so do they carry on? I wonder if the ones from down there are involved in this. So there's one next to the light there, which will be the light blue one, or the blue blue one, whatever, or not maybe, alright let's, let's see where we start from here, halfway up a ladder, so if we keep an eye on that one, it goes so it lands in the blue so right now it's in the blue so hopefully we'll see it leave which we don't because it's already fucking there it's stupid the camera angles are shit there's so many ways to make this work because you can hold left and right on either stick or you can hold the triggers okay so if it's in the blue there Alright, let's just say it's the one on the rock. And 
try that one. And then rewind. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, there's like someone to do with like Scooby-Doo, Mission Incorporated, and like a dollhouse or something, or like a doll factory. Uh, and that's like episode 39, which if there's 26 episodes in both, would mean it's like episode 13 of series two, and I think I'm on like episode six maybe, so. Not that far away, so that's something to look forward to. Okay, where the fuck? How the fuck are you are we meant? All right. Ugh. So look, it jumps in the thing. Okay, I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Okay, I think it's that one that's in the pink now and in front of the brush. And then it jumps up. And then hops up again. And then I think it's that. Okay, I'm gonna go and put it on the one I think it is, obviously. So I think it's this one. So, blah, 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 blah. Uh, in terms of other stuff I've been doing lately, um... And actually referencing again Scooby-Doo, I've got, um... Right, nailed it, that was lucky. I kind of saw it through, like, the little crack there. Um, the trailer for Scoob is coming out next week. Um, not next week, tomorrow. So, excited for that. And I want to do like a little, um, a reaction video thing, because I never do them. And I should be excited, or I should have strong feelings either way. So, uh, yeah, that'll be exciting. Or shit, depends how it goes, I guess. And by the time this goddamn, uh, video comes out, it may well be out already. Oh, I'm still waiting on Sonic the Hedgehog as well with Jim Carrey, god. Excited for that, I literally am. Uh, excited, is that the right word? I don't know. I'm something for it. I'm anticipating it either way. Like, if it's shit, then... I mean, okay, we kind of expect it to be shit. And then if it's good, that's a win either way. I don't care, I still need to... I need to watch every Jim Carrey film, and that's a Jim Carrey film, so I need to watch it either way, so... It doesn't really matter. But yeah, I am looking forward to it. Okay, what's this control? This pulley? Okay, then she can put on that. Then we'll rewind. Be kind, rewind. Speaking of Jim Carrey... He, of course, was in Cable Guy with Jack Black, which I just watched today again. It was on uh, Sony Movies. And we have... Um... I, I don't know, I think it was like Jim Carrey Day or something, because uh, before that they had... What's it called? Um, Bruce Almighty. Which I haven't watched in ages, but one of my favourite bits of that is the um, like the diner scene. I'm guessing we have to go and put that on here. Where if you see it, you know what I mean, where he's like first like got his powers, but he doesn't believe it still. And he makes the um, oh, if we lower it all the way down and all the way up, that makes sense. Why is this the third of three? Should it should be like the, the first one, this is the easiest one. That fucking one with the box trolls jumping around, pissing me right off.
Oh no, oh no. So we're meant to use the light to do that thing where it gets rid of the bell cloud, I guess is the best way to put it. There we go. Quickly, quickly. There should be a way to like speed it up, because this is like ridiculously slow. And she's fucking about like looking around at the fucking environment and shit. Okay, clearly we have to ring the bell. Although we can't ring the why why can't we ring the bell? Because only she can ring the bell. And I'm wondering if we can do anything with her looking at it, like maybe we can Okay, how about if we pull the pulley up and then maybe the light off the lantern will thing it? Well, wait, I'll need her to... have it on. And then raise it up, and then see if that cloud disappears. It does, okay. That's what I think I have to do. And then, maybe she can take it back, otherwise how the... So what does this do? Ding! It opens a black hole. Do we want that? We'll want it at the top, won't we? Because then... We can get past that. But it'll take it away from us before we get to the uh, the cloud bridge. Come on, please. Please. Yes, 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 yes. And then we cross over here, and okay, I guess there we have to do it. There, and then all the way up. I mean, I said it was the easiest one before it got kind of hard, but I still stand by the fact that it was the maybe the second easiest to do. So now I've got to go back and pick it up again, which is very time-consuming. Wait, wait, oh, fuck! Oh, I keep getting confused with putting the lantern on it and then not putting the lantern on it, because it's fucking stupid. Blah, 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 hurry up. But the fucking... What? Why is it jumping away? You having a fucking laugh? Alright, let's have a look. Where the fuck does it go? <sighs> we don't know, because you can't see it. That's fucking great. Thanks a lot, man. He just fucks off. He just fucks off. fucking stuck. What the fuck? It's just doing this to fuck me over because I said it was easy. Thanks a fucking lot, man. Fuck you. Uh, there has to be a... Can we ring the bell again, or is that...
no, we can't reach the bell, because look, the bell's right there. And we can't get the thing back up. If we can do it, can we do it? I don't feel like we can do it. Uh, if it's there, it just fucking runs away. Okay, hello now. Ah, now we can just build all the way down. So that's the treehouse, maybe, that we first saw them in, so maybe there's a connection there. And the treehouse is still in, because look, it's not a boat, like I thought it was, or a shed. That's my fault, I'm dumb. Alright, so that'll do it for part one of The Gardens Between. So I'll catch you guys next time for part two. I don't know how fucking long this is. It can't be much longer. So yeah, there you go. That was a little taster. And next time we'll maybe finish it, hopefully. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time for part two. Thanks a lot, guys.